and more coming up next week on the What's Cooking Show. For more information, go to crntalk.com. Eat well, everybody. On the beach in Hawaii hey, I wish you were here with me Walking on the beach in Hawaii Playing on the golden sand Looking at the ocean now I Stand. Yeah, I love that. Yes, baby. Love that's Ziggy like Marley. That's that fire. That's, that, that's how we spit that sports fire on the original sports show, baby. And I wish you were here with me. Yeah, I love that. You get some nice summer mode going, you know what I'm saying? That's that summer, summer vibe, baby. On yeah. the beach in Hawaii. I wish I was on a beach in Hawaii. I'm going to be on a beach in Hawaii before it's all said and done. <laughs> yeah. I love that, baby. Yeah, you listen to the original sports show, and I'm your host, Leopold Jeans. The Big OG Broadcasting Live. Think about you Here on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I love it, yeah. And the number to call in today is 1-866-CRN-TALK. Once again, that number is 1-866-CRN-TALK. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I'm on. It reminds me of St. Martin, man. My favorite place, man, in the Caribbean, man. My favorite place in the world, man, I've ever been, man, is St. Martin, man. And they spell it (laughs) S-I-N-T-M-A-A-R-T-E-N. Yeah. On a beach in Hawaii, man. Oh, Oh, I can't wait. Hey, Commissioner Goodell, don't you be trying to take away the Pro Bowl on the beach in Hawaii? I know they had it in Miami last year, but uh, don't be trying to take away the Pro Bowl Commissioner Goodell, NFL Commissioner Goodell, Mr. Micromanager, Mr. General with no troops behind him. Commissioners are made to be seen and not heard. I understand, you know, it, some people like power and, and, and power. So, you know, they, you know, they have power and they just like to exercise and manipulate and micromanage and blah, 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 blah. That's what Commissioner Goodell does. And it turns off all the players. All the NFL, the majority of the veteran NFL players know what he's about. They know he, he you know, he's a micromanager. He's doing a lot of things to the game. And it's, I don't think the players are scared of change in the NFL. That's not the issue. Because change is, is by progressive people always accept change. Okay? But what Commissioner Goodell does is he tries to act like he's like a Marine general, which he's not. You know, a lot of these players get fined Monday morning for not having their socks up and not having the right shoelaces and, and not, you know, all these little things for $5,000, $10,000. That kind of stuff would, would irritate you if you're a player and you're like, dude, I got fined five thousand dollars for not having my socks pulled up. Really? What is this? Let let the managers, general managers, and coaches manage these these NFL teams themselves. Let them pay attention to the detail, not you. Unless you're holding it an inspection, <laughs> you know you're talking to a former Marine here. I've been through many inspections. Okay, I've been through inspections where the middle of my back just itched. And I wanted to scratch it, but I have this four-star general standing in front of me. And you, could, you just have to be disciplined. You know, you have to be mind over matter. But these guys are NFL football players. Their socks fall down. They get hit. They knock each other's blocks off for a living. That's what they do. And he just rubs the players the wrong way. You know, and I'm not really, to be honest, I'm a fan of the NFL. I don't have a specific team, and which a lot of people find ironic and weird. You know, people always go, hey, who's your team? And I always go, I'm from L.A. I don't have a team. And none of them, it takes them a few seconds to register. They're like, oh, you don't have a team. Yeah, we don't have a team. So I don't care who wins until we get a team in Los Angeles. 
until we get an NFL football team in Los Angeles, I don't care who wins. And I'm going to also go on the record and, and give the name of the L.A. team if we ever do get a team. This is what we should name them. If we ever get an NFL team, there's only one name we can give that NFL team. And it's it's the greatest name for any NFL team ever. And that would be the L.A. Marines. That's right. I said it. The L.A. Marines. Think about that. That's awesome. Because, you know, Marines kick ass, baby. <laughs> I mean, outside of a Raider, a Marine is the baddest thing. You know what I'm saying? Actually, Marine is badder than a, than a Raider, I'd say. I mean, I don't know. We could get into some talk and comparison about who's the baddest, baddest person or baddest group. I take the Marines over the Raiders any day. You know why? Because they're a lean, green, killing machine. <laughs> yeah, the L.A. Marines. That's what we need to name our L.A. football team when we get them. And I said it here first on CRN Digital Talk Radio Bighorn Productions. The L.A. Marines. I love that. But nobody registers. I, I wrote an article about that, actually. And that was the article, the editorial I wrote that won the honorable mention from the Football Writers Association. Uh, and it was an article about me being in a bar. Hey, guess what? It was an article about me in a bar. Hey. <laughs> what a shocker. <laughs> so I'm in this bar and I'm talking, you know, to people and we're all having a good time watching the sunset at the sidewalk cafe. And uh, a guy on the other side of the bar is talking a little football. He's talking Eagles and the guy next to him is talking Panthers and the guy next to him is talking Steelers. And there was this hot, like redhead woman sitting next to me and she was sipping on a, she had a couple shots of Jack or something. And I looked at her and she's like, who's your team? And I was like, I don't have a team. I'm from L.A. And she was like, <laughs> she laughed at me in my face. Like, you don't have a team? And I'm like, no, I don't have a team. What do you want me to do? Make a team? You buy a team? I'll buy a team. I mean, the most I could spend is like 100 bucks. So I don't know. What kind of team could I get for 100 bucks? Wouldn't be the LA Marines, I know that. And we will be back on the original sports show, baby. And I'm your host, Leopold G's, the Big OG, broadcasted live on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Holla. <laughs>